Hi, I'm Joe Coy. I got two specials on Netflix, and this is how I got started. I grew up basically everywhere. My uh, father was in the military, and it was like every three to four years we were in a different city. Meeting new people was mandatory. That's where I got that comfort zone to be able to talk to people. The times that we were living in, my mom and dad met late 60s. You know, there was a lot of race issues, civil rights issues going on, and you know, seeing mixed race kids wasn't really the normal yet. It, this is like new to everybody, and, and I was part of that, <laughs> you know what I mean? So if you could just imagine the time I lived in. I would wake up in the morning and put a video on and watch it and then go to school. Come home, put the video on, watch it. Comic Relief, Robin Williams and, and Whoopi Goldberg. That's all I would do, just watch specials and that, that's all I knew. Right when I saw Eddie Murphy Delirious, I was like, I need to be Eddie Murphy. And then about four years later, I think, he went on tour and he did Raw. And it was at the Seattle Coliseum and my mom was driving us. She's like, I thought this was a movie. This is a concert. I have to wait here. The whole time? Went in and it was the most amazing thing I've ever seen, man. I still remember the openers. And then we go to Eddie. Motherfucker. I shit myself. Like this is my God right here. And he walks out and it was two and a half hours of just nonstop Eddie Murphy live. And that's when I was like, I'm gonna be a comedian, man. That's, I'm, I'm gonna do that right there. I entered this competition, didn't tell anyone in my family. I remember I had to paint my mustache in because I wasn't 21 yet, and I had baby hair, and I used my mom's mascara. Security guard just looked right at me at this horrible mustache. He was like, yeah, go ahead. And I was like, oh, I'm in. And then it was my turn to go up after this guy that did Lionel Richie, and he killed it. He fucking killed it. And I bombed, bombed so bad. It was so, so bad. And then I walked off stage, I sat next to Lionel Richie, uh, Lionel Richie impersonator. <laughs> I go, man, that sucked. He goes, yeah, but I'll, I'll tell you one thing, man. You got stage presence. He said that to me. And he goes, you, you should keep doing it, man. You bombed, but you, you looked good up there, man. And, and literally, that was it. And I bombed maybe 20 more times after that. But I, I, I kept doing it. Literally, my biggest break, I was a Dolphin Habitat tour guide at the Mirage Casino. They gave me a mic, and I would get in front. I would always make it funny. I didn't know any of the names of those dolphins. That's Rainbow. That's Snapper. People walk up to me, which one's Snapper again? You just point at any gray fish, that one. Oh my God, oh my God, Snapper. And one of the tour guides goes, BET Comic View is here. And I was like, what? I wanted to be on that show so bad. I had to drive all the way home. I grabbed my suit, drove all the way back with this fake resume that my friend made me on his computer, lied on everything. And I went to the front of the line and went to the security guard. When has ever a security guide helped anybody? Never. I go, man, I'm a local comic here in town and uh, I would love to talk to the promoter. I swear to God, he goes like this, he goes, I'll be right back. I'm like, what the fuck? He really went in and he got the promoter and she walks to the door. She's like, oh my God, thank you for the resume. I wish I would have known. We already got everybody uh, for the show, but next time we come back to Vegas, I'll make sure to call you and you can open. I go, oh my God, thank you. She goes, do you want to go to the show? I'm like, fuck yeah. She lets me in. I'm sitting down, it's packed. And all the comics are late. Every single comic's late. The crowd's getting pissed. So she walks up to me. And she goes, hey, do you want to go up? And I went up. Fucking crush. And then I walk off stage and Bo P standing right next to her. And he goes, who the fuck is this? And she's like, oh, this is Joe. I just met him at the thing. He's like, god damn, man. You ever been on Comic View? I go, I go, no. He goes, you won't. A week later, I get a phone call. They fly me out to do BET's Comic View. And I couldn't believe what was happening. I was a tour guide last week. <laughs> Here I am on Comic View. It was crazy. From BET's Comic View, I get the Black College Comedy Tour. So I would meet all these comics. One comic by the name of Honest John, he took me on and, and, and he was like, hey, I'm doing Def Jam. I'm doing it in, in Vegas. I'm gonna tell Bob Sumner. Bob Sumner is the guy that created Def Jam. He goes, I'm gonna tell him all about you. Just come to the show. So I go and I'm backstage with Honest John and then here comes Bob Sumner. This is at the height of Def Jam, you know what I mean? And uh, he's like, hey, yeah, John told me a lot about you. I go, yeah, he goes, all right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna leave the house lights on and uh, while people are sitting, you go ahead and do your like five minutes. I was like, man, how am I gonna perform with the lights on? This is gonna suck, I'm gonna bomb. The stage manager walks up to me and he goes, man, I ain't gonna do that to you, man. 
I can't open the curtains, but I'm gonna turn those house lights down for you. I'm not gonna do that to you. I go, thank you so much. So they said, ladies and gentlemen, Joe Coy. And they opened up the curtain, like just a little, just a little triangle. And I sneak out, and it's like packed house, man. Like about 1,500 people, man. It's just packed. And I just went for it. Hey, I'm Joe Coy, blah, 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 blah. Boom, good night. I crawl back through, close the curtain, and it's Bob Sumner and Rudy Rush. Rudy Rush used to host Showtime at the Apollo, right? And he looks at Bob and he's like, who the fuck is this guy? And Bob goes, oh, I just met an Honest John introduced me to him and I just pulled him up real quick. He's like, motherfucker, how am I supposed to follow that shit? He's like, I didn't know, I didn't know it was gonna be funny. Well, shit, man. And then he looked at me, Rudy looks at me, and he goes, you ever do Showtime at the Apollo? I go, man, I would be, it would be an honor to do Showtime, man. I, I, please, I'd love to do Showtime. He's like, you're on. You're on Showtime at the Apollo. I swear to God, three weeks later, you can go to the video. I'm doing Showtime at the Apollo. And that's how I got started. Thank you for listening to my story. And my new special, Coming In Hot, is streaming right now on Netflix. <laughs>